Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Shattered Steel with me, Johnny Westray. How are you all doing? Have you been scared away yet? Of course you haven't. The last time we were together, we were defending the Lanios colony. We had a choice to make between attacking an enemy communication outpost or attacking the enemy supply convoy. After much deliberation, I decided that the advantages and disadvantages between the two came down to this, that we either use attack the enemy supply convoy in a, in a hit and fade like attack, stealth, uh, and dis disrupt their supplies while not alerting them to our presence, or we can attack the enemy supply convoy, uh, the enemy communications outpost. Tell us. Seek out the enemy compound and decimate. That's not what I meant to do. If I feel I'm able to rise the occasion, that's real cute. Um, let's listen to your briefing, what I wanted to do. Ugh, all right. The first part is the liberation let's of the captured military base is an assault on an alien communications post. This mission will alert the enemy that we are assaulting their installations. The first segment of this operation will serve to divert the enemy reinforcements from the defense of the more important military base. You will be dropped to the northwest of the installation outside of the defensive perimeter to avoid any detection. Proceed to the target area and begin the destruction of the enemy facilities. To succeed in this mission, you must destroy all communication buildings and eliminate the enemy transport pods in the immediate area. You see? Now, she says something very important there. Alert the enemy to our presence. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, that seems like the unwise choice. Well, in this instance, I think it actually is a more wise choice because it is going to deliver a decisive blow, divert uh, enemy forces away from uh, another front so that they will uh, divert their attention to, uh, here. And only that, but it will disrupt their ability to uh, communicate. So that's why I've chosen to do this mission. Uh, we're going with our big heavy bot. We need some firepower. We're going to equip ourselves with a medium laser, the combat laser, and a light rapid fire laser, and a little, you know, a little 18 pack for some extra firepower. Let's hop on down. Oh, select a mission. Fine, be that way. Seek out the enemy compound and decimate structures present. The reason why I went with the uh, with the lasers instead of the cannons is because we're going to be going against some buildings here. We're going to go against some uh, buildings. A uh, large um, area, a large encampment, communication outpost. Exactly. Um, we don't really have to worry too much about being stealthy on this. We're just going to go in there and smash it up. Where is it at? It's going. We have to head southeast. Yeah, of course. There's something nearby. The missiles are pretty much ineffective against uh, buildings. Well, some buildings, the hit detection is just off on that. So. so let's just go in here. Let's just take it. Here on the Hoth mission of this game, it's funny, you actually do have an impact on how well you move around, you kind of slip and slide. See? Boom. Who's shooting me? He 
piece of cake. So, and here we are. You know, I'm liking our new computer system, guys. I'm liking the ANIAC. I mean, excuse me, the ANIC. Uh, the ANIC Mark IV here. She's she's a sexy fembot. I'm digging her. But she's very supportive. She's very kind. You know, she tells me how 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 important I am and how I'm how I'm critical to the mission objectives. And I, I like that. I like that in a uh, woman. I mean, uh, a computer AI, a computer system. That's right. I like that in a computer system. Well, that appreciates my input and situation. some transports pods out there so let's head northwest if there's gonna be any they're gonna be in the northwest because they're not behind us of lasers. It's a uh, consistent and steady firepower. Once you get a new shield, once you get a new engine, um, you're able to put a lot more po um, power into different um, systems. So. Come on. There seems to be nothing out here. Northwest, let's head south. I remember, once you destroy all the buildings... <sighs> once you destroy all the buildings, it is when... It is when, uh... That's right. Well... It won't take long to get back. Let's enjoy the nice atmosphere. A nice snow-covered area. Oh, see that? You see that? a mine. Someone put a mine there. The aliens, maybe? Well, who taught them how to do that? I think it was obviously Windows Vista. I mean, Anek Mark 3. And with this, 
we'll see the appearance of the transport pods. I'm, I'm sure. But until, so let's head northwest. After blowing this up. Getting a mission complete. What's going on? Okay, let's head southwest. Let's head towards where we got enemies. This game's bugging out already. Everything's going to hell. Nothing ever works out like for, for me. Guys, I'm up to 230 sub subscribers. That is about 200 more people that are watching the video. Which means that people are not, uh, that, um... <laughs> ah, see, someone just popped up over there. Wow, that's great. 
Um, destroy all enemy. We destroyed 39. That's almost as many ships that were lost in the Battle of Wolf 359 for my Star Trek Next Generation fans, friends out there. Uh, okay, here we go. And the game crashes. Now that the enemy forces are moving to reestablish the communications post, the coast is clear for your launch against the military base. Yes. In spite of the movement of the majority of alien units to the site of the destroyed communications post, there are still a large number of units near the military depot. There is a serious risk in attempting the next mission. You are still able to launch against the convoy before the alien reinforcements arrive to fortify its guard if you feel you are not up to assaulting the base. Hmm. Another dilemma. I could actually go and do the convoy mission now, nonetheless, or I could just hit the military base right away. But, you know, Anix seems really concerned about me. I, I, maybe I should take some time to think about this. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, because that's what we do. We've already, we played the game, and you know, let's uh, save game, boom, save the game, uh, seven, boom, game saved. Uh, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about this situation. Do I hit the convoy next, or do I go after the military base right away? I've been pretty bold. I got a pretty good computer system backing me up here. She seems like a real nice gal. Someone I could really settle down with and open up a spice mining farm somewhere in the deserts of Tatooine or something like that. I don't know. But uh, um, uh, a bunch of love to everybody. Hope you're having a nice week. Hope you're having a good time. And come see me again on another exciting episode of Let's Play Shattered Steel. Oh, real quick, post postpartum uh, amen, uh, amen, amendment to the initial thing. Yeah, there still let's plays of X-Wing going on. I guess. The game, game's next to impossible to play. Uh, well, uh, there's been some suggestions to do, uh, to do um, the Win uh, Windows 95 collector CD version of the game. I have to get my hands on that. We'll see. I don't know. Um... Also, um, it's the Star Trek 25th anniversary game for the Nintendo. I was playing on. I, I might just finish off that mission, and have a little fun with it. But uh, I don't know. I want to actually maybe do. If I'm going to do a let's play of that one, I'm going to try to do the, the PC version, the collectors with the voiceover work from Shatner and Nimoy. But at the same time, it's been done. It's been done. It's being done by uh, 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 to right now. So. You guys know me. I like to try to pull odds and ends out of the out of the 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 work. I mean, yeah, Final Fantasy had been done before, but I, I try to find things that aren't being done by a lot of other people. So that's why I'm putting my efforts into Shadow of Steel right now because apparently it's it's never been played by anybody else on the earth. So, uh, <laughs> but it's still Bioware Interplay. It's just, it's a great game. So maybe maybe it'll catch on. Um, also, I wanted to point out real quick, uh, if you're still listening, that uh, the, the Rebellion Let's Play was actually linked in a some article at a game gamezone something dot com. I don't know. You got you got to check. It's, you go to the Let's Play Rebellion first video. There's a little link on there at the bottom where YouTube has said, "Hey, it's been cited." My video's been cited. That's awesome. So, with that being said, come back and see me again soon. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. Keep friending. And, you know what? Let's keep going. It's not 2012 yet. The world hasn't ended. Love you guys and see you next time. Bye-bye.